860 online, music of the past, rocking you right into the future. Tony Z on a Sunday afternoon, and we are here with Bernie Goliath of the uh, Car Idiots Forever, talking uh, cars and, of course, rock and roll music here and all kinds of good stuff. And uh, we were just saying before we went into that song, uh, I kind of have some history with uh, GM with my dad and uh, some cars that I had over the years, and I currently own a 66 GTO. Actually, uh, Mr. Rath here on our on our staff had the pleasure of doing some work uh, for me on the car here uh, last year. It's still got a few issues, but uh, hoping to get it back on the road here soon but uh, anyway tell us more about uh, car idiots hello Bernie Goliath here chief car idiot and welcome to car idiots forever we're at Wixie 1260 and I heard there's some car enthusiasts here today so let's go and check it out just got to watch our steps watch your head as we're getting into the studio here it is an exciting place to be because we know one thing's for certain when you got car idiots and they're here and they want to tell their story, we want to get it. Don't you agree? Here we go. Oh, I love going to the track. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a joint thing. We just work together and get it done. As soon as I get to go down the track, though. Uh, yeah. In the Are you going to learn car. how to drive that car? Oh, I, 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 I don't know that I'd drive it, but I would love to go down the track in the, <laughs> the, the race car. What speeds are you racing? Um, I've gone 980s and 130s in that car just it's something that I I like to do I like tinkering with it I like going to the garage and it's my little place away from everything else and just going there and work on stuff I've worked on a lot of cars on the side um, it's nice to spend somebody else's money <laughs> I did a 60 Imperial that was really cool it's just not a car you get to see every day different options different ways I mean just the way it was living back then how you drove stuff and the options and the way it was put together it's definitely something different. Um, I've got a 66 Nova in the garage right now I'm doing, it's on a rotisserie. That's kind of cool to open that up and see the history of that and get into that car. That one's going to be all original. Um, I did Tony's GTO, that was kind of cool too. I don't know, I like working on them all. Okay, let's see if there's anybody else. Look at this, we just come in here and there's some people that are excited about the show. Car Idiots Forever truly is a phenomenon and it is spreading throughout the land. There really wasn't a passion when it started out. It has developed into that over time. Uh, it actually started by accident, out of boredom. Uh, but then when I was doing that, all of a sudden I get phone calls and emails from all these people that said, well, I have recordings of this and that and the other thing. And all of a sudden, this little thing I was trying to do, I think in a couple of months, uh, just mushroomed on me. Uh, so there was no original plan, but now we just enjoy doing it. Uh, we like bringing radio back to the people so that they can hear music and not 90% of advertising all the time. Corporate radio has destroyed corporate radio in general because that's all you hear is commercials. They don't even sneeze without saying that was brought to you by somebody. <laughs> and we try to keep that very limited. And what can you do that's fantastic? Sleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> and make jokes. And... Uh, Make the uh, website shine here at Wix1260online.com. I've been friends with Gary for years, um, and we, uh, well, he started it uh, because we share a passion of laugh at me. RVing, <laughs> camping. And the weekend we were planning on going, it was raining, and he was futzing around upstairs, and he decided to launch Wixie. And we went camping another weekend after that, and heard the station on the air for some reason it was just playing really hokey songs that week and i'm like you're turning this into a radio station <laughs> it was just it, it, it's an automation when most uh, you know when there's not somebody on the air so there was a lot of funky stuff and i just i just kind of laughed it off and before i know it it's turning into this whole thing and we've got people coming in from all over wanting to be on the air wanting to do shows and it's just fun, you know, meeting all the people that are involved. And you met the chief car idiot. Right, <laughs> and meeting the chief car idiot. Uh, Bernie Goliath, I remember meeting you at the IX Center last year. You're so funny and articulate and passionate about what you do. And finding people that are similarly passionate about their things. And, and we're free. And we don't advertise, you know, more than, you know, five or six minutes an hour. Our goal is to always keep the content at at least 50 minutes of music per hour. So 
Because um, well, the music's are why we're here. The music's right. the star. The music's the passion, and, and it's what we enjoy. We try to bring the product that we as listeners would want to hear on the air. I think that's what sets us apart. Every show must come to an end, and I'm very thankful that I had a little bit of help from my friends. There they are. And you can hear music like that. You can hear music from the past. You can hear all kinds of wonderful things on Wixie 1260. And not only that, but there's car enthusiasts that are here. And you can check it out at caridiotsforever.com. Friend us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get involved with all of our social media on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you there. (laughs) 